In his speech, Dai said China and the U.S. have no territorial disputes or fundamental strategic conflicts in the South China Sea. He added their relationship should not be defined by the issue. The former state consular also reiterated China's view that Beijing would always insist upon negotiations to resolve disputes. Whoever will let the situation deteriorate and ultimately end in disaster must take on the historical consequences. All the related countries need to make concrete efforts to calm down about the South China Sea dispute. Dai refuted the arbitration unilaterally initiated by the Philippines. He said the permanent court of arbitration has no right of jurisdiction because the case is in a sense related to territorial sovereignty and maritime delimitation. He added that China refuses to participate in the proceedings and will never recognize the final verdict. Meanwhile, former U.S. Deputy Secretary of State Jean Negroponte also delivered a speech, and he advised that the issue shouldn't become a confrontational field between the two nations. Experts from more than 20 Chinese and American think tanks and research institutions participated in the event. They conducted in-depth discussions on the contentious issue. Dai proposed some constructive ideas on how to calm the tensions in the South China Sea dispute, as well as how to avoid involving China-U.S. relations within the South China Sea dispute. I think the keynote speech delivered by former State Councillor Dai Bingguo carries a lot of weight. Both sides emphasize that although the South China Sea is a contentious issue, that the greater relations are really the more important thing. Uh, and that uh, those are fairly stable and both sides realize that we need to find ways to address and manage the problems of the South China Sea, uh, but that we shouldn't let them negatively impact the greater relations. So I thought that was very important from both uh, Mr. Dai and then uh, they both, both sides have, have stated that, so I think that was good. Many present believe the dialogue provided an opportunity for both countries to exchange information and communicate their strategic intentions and it was ultimately a step forward in keeping peace and stability in the South China Sea. Ding Ziyue, CCTV.